our application is that SPVLSC secure barcode based visible light communication for smartphones abstract This is the architecture. Before going into the application, I will explain the application. A short diagrammatic explanation. Okay. Secure barcode based visible light communication for smartphones. Consider a user wants to buy products in online. She purchases product, orders she wants whatever she wants, and pays the bill using the card pays bill using credit card and further bank details. The banker receives the request and checks the details if it matches with the original details. Banker checks for the details and send a password to the user approving the transaction. The banker will send the password and the user will use the password to claim uh, her or his purchase. Okay. In the password, user gets the password and claims the purchase. If the details are matched, the transaction will be successful. Okay. This is the common procedure. But there are security reasons. Because in between the user and the banker, the third person is there. He is called hacker. What the hacker will do? The hacker may be anyone. It may be someone sitting next to you. He or she may hear your password or see your password or our system itself having key loggers okay what is called key loggers key loggers are a program that will record every keystroke made by a computer especially in order to gain fraudulent access to password and other confidential information okay so everything goes wrong what will happen then the user password will be um, used by the others or the bank details will be leaked many problems are there okay so to overcome all this uh, issues we are going to SBBLSE methods in place of password we are using QR codes okay what are called QR codes there are two types of QR codes right one is 1D and the other one is 2D only the first diagram is 1D example and the second D and C are QR codes okay that is 2D why we are going to 2D because 1D can store up to 10 to 12 characters at the same time 2D can store up to 7000 characters okay so to prevent all this hacking methods we are going to use QR code in place of passwords okay this is the abstract of our application, SPVLSE. Okay. These are the algorithms and techniques. Okay. This is what we done in our application called SPVLSE. What's that? the user user wants to purchase something in online uh, he or she uses the her credit card to claim the purchase the banker comes banker verify the details to prepare a OTP in the form of QR code 
the qr code will be forwarded to the user by the banker the user will scan this password i mean this qr code to retrieve the password and use the password to claim her purchase okay if the password matches the purchase will be successful i mean and the transaction will be successful okay so the hacking methods will be prevented right successfully transacted without hacking and further issues this is what we done in our sbvlsc application okay now i will show you my application sbvlsc okay loading into our application There are two modules namely user and banker okay i'm gonna choose user so before logging into our application we have to register here since we are new user right enter your password name number mail and locality Use the same password you use that to register. Press login button. So we are into user module. User module has two options. One is set go for shopping. Next one is set pay your bills. I'm gonna shop now. Okay. There are smartphones, speaker set, washing machine personal computer, split PC, microwave, oven, chandelier, fridge, home theater, okay, now I am gonna choose fridge, okay. Okay, order details, price and product name, please mention your name and mail id. Press to pay button. Now enter your bank details. Your account number and bank name and expiry month and year. And mention your CVV. On pressing the request button, your request will be sent to the banker. Okay. Successfully sent. Okay. Press back button. Now here comes the banker. 
what will the banker do before going to see the register here use the username and password you use that to register now we are in the banker module banker module has two categories what are they creating otp and sending otp creating otp The banker will view the user request here. See our request bridge. So banker will produce the OTP based on the details. Okay. Bridge. See account number, bank name, CEV and amount. Based on this, the OTP will be generated. By pressing this button banker will generate the OTP okay mention the password which represent the QR code you are going to produce okay. on pressing the create OTP button the password will be generated in the form of a QR code Now the QR code is generated based on the password and chili we mentioned in the OTP box. Okay. On pressing the save button, this QR code will be saved into our gallery. So press save button. Right. Now the password is saved into our gallery. Now the QR code has to be sent to the user so that the user can use the QR code and scan the QR code to retrieve the password ok then use the password to claim her purchase so sending to sending OTP to the user I am using the referral mail id pressing the send button the QR code will be sent to the email id sending message here comes the user the user will use that uh, have to use that QR code to claim her purchase ok ok our product is that fridge ok product name and amount scan to get your password so press this button
got this password and the account number. Press the tick mark to claim your purchase. Okay. Success. Okay. Now your product will reach soon as soon as possible. Okay. Now for your clear understanding. I'll explain you once again the summary of our project. It's nothing but our two modules. One is user and the banker modules. What the banker is going to do? The banker has to register and log into the account. Initially, he will check for any request from the user regarding the purchase. If it's so, he will prepare OTP for him after checking the bank details and send the OTP to the user through the mail ID. Then the user has to scan and get that OTP to claim the purchase. Okay. That is what done in the banker module. Then comes the user module. What the user will do? The user will register and log into the account and go for shopping, enter the card details and send to the banker. Banker intern checks the details and send the OTP through your barcode. By scanning that code, he will get the OTP. Using the OTP, you can claim our transaction. If it matches, that's it. Our purchase will be success. Okay. This is called FDVLSC. This is nothing but secure, barcode based, visible light communication for smartphones thank you for watching